Today we're gonna to talk about uh, making some loop tools, and stuff like that, as you can see here before. Here's ones you can, you can pre-buy, uh, some like these, and this one here. You can pre-buy these. And these are called loop tools, they're for scooping, or removing clay, if I have a piece of clay here, and I wanna remove it or carve it out, I can just kinda of come in like this, kinda of remove it, and add some clay, take some clay out of it if I want to. Gives some different ways of doing it, and stuff like that. Also, the other tool we're gonna to add to this is by using a, um, it's just called a rubber rib. It's like a rubber rib on a stick. Basically, if I have lines, I can come back in here and I can kind of smooth them in. I can add stuff to it, add some texture, stuff like that to my project, whatever I want to do. That's what I'm doing here with this one. It allows me to do that. And I can also take it, I can also smooth these out as well if I want. Kind of a good little smoothing tool is what it's good for. And we can use these by using a eraser. We'll do kind of the same basic idea of what it'll do there. It'll do the same thing. So here are the ones I've made, as you can see already. I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of these. All this is here is an eraser. I've cut off the tip of it. Again, it'll do the lines like the other one will. But then I can also take it and just smooth out the lines as well, is what it allows me to do. Give me that some little texture to the stuff. Gives me some various different things. And then also has some extra loop possibilities on it. So I can come back in here and I begin to carve away and remove some of that soft clay if I want to. It allows me to do that a little bit, okay? That's one thing I love to do. So I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of these tools today. First, you're gonna need a pencil. It's what you're gonna need. Here we go here. You can put, oh, by the way, you can put some on both sides here. I'm just gonna show you one way to do it and get you kind of ready to go on that way. So what we do here is we take a paper clip. We're gonna pry it apart like this. I'm gonna take some uh, cutters I have. I'm gonna kind of cut the two pieces apart here. Cut some of this excess off I have. And I have a couple pieces right here. I'm gonna use the smaller one here to make a smaller loop tool with this is what I wanna do. Make a little bit of a smaller loop tool on this one. I can take my pliers here a little bit. Again, pry them open. Kind of press that in a little bit. It's not even pressed in, and it's ready to go to make a loop tool. All I do now is I take the one end of, of the eraser here, and I'm gonna press it in. Try to get as close as I can to the middle as possible. Press it back into it. It's onto the side. Then I take some tape. Um, I recommend you can use masking tape, and I'm sorry, you can use duct tape. Uh, mask tape kind of stay away from it; doesn't hold us very well. But I like using electrical tape to do this because I can really get it on there super tight, kind of really pinch it down, and make sure this loop tool is going nowhere. Have it looped on there, so it'll work. It's got a pretty good feel. And then I take my eraser, replace it on like this. And when I do to give it a little bit of a point, I come back in with a pair of scissors. I just kind of take off the tip on each side. Take a little bit of a point I want. Then what I can do is I can take some sandpaper, kind of just go over that piece like I'm erasing it. It gives it to a nice little point. I'll show you how to get this to stay on just a minute. So I have a little bit more of a point that I want onto my tool. Then I take my uh, electrical tape again, wrap it around this part of the head right here, and begin to tape it down. Just keep it on there so it'll stay on nice and well. And now I have a little rubber tool and a tool like this. So if I have my clay, I can carve it in. And if I need to blend it or smooth it together, I come back in with this tool. I'm gonna to kind of smooth it out on the inside. And if I have to, I can even still put 
some marks in there if I have to. It doesn't matter, but it gives like a nice little tool to use for, as you can see, it's a little bit easier for it to use, which is kind of cool, and this is how you make a loop tool. So you, know, you said you need a pencil, a couple paper clips, you're gonna cut them apart, little segments like this, and then you're gonna tape them on the, onto the stick, one on each side if you want, as this one has been done here, it's one on each side, or like I said, you can use an eraser and give it a little bit of a, a point to it as well, and then have a ribbon tool on the other side over there as well. And that is how you make an extra loop tool. I know these aren't as fancy as these, but I get you kind of started on what you need to do.